So let us consider, guys, another question, which is on our transducers, August 2023 exam. On question number two, considering 2.1, you're given to indicate whether the following statements are true or false by writing only true or false. Next to the question number. All right. 2.11, a thermocouple is a passive transducer. A thermocouple. No, this one is an active uh, if you check uh, the question paper of uh, August, uh, it's supposed to be April, uh, actually April uh, 2024. I explained uh, about examples that are on passive transducers, if you still remember, uh, for those who have uh, gone through that class. Remember, we said on passive uh, transducers, these are the ones that are externally powered, uh, where we are talk of not dependent. They are Depend. I mean, the external means say they are dependent. The, the the part of the passive, they are dependent. And on that, we talk of the potentiometers, the strain gauge. A thermocouple is part of what active, no external power. So this one is part of the active transducer. It's an active transducer. So not a passive. So the, this one was going to be a false because it in it is uh, there is no external power needed on 2.12 a thermocouple generates an emf across two similar metals no it is it is going to take it across two different types of metals not similar but they are supposed to be different different types so meaning to say this was also false 2.13 the physical quantity measured by a thermocouple is temperature. That is actually true. We are measuring temperature, and the output signal from a thermocouple is in the form of current. No, that is false. The output is in the form of a voltage, which is now converted to a temperature. That is a voltage there. Then the output signal from the thermocouple is usually very high in magnitude and needs to be attenuated further. No, this is false. There is nothing like that. All right. So that was your theory, guys. Make sure you go through a thermocouple. As you can see, your syllabus, depending on the textbook that you are using, some they do not like uh, work with the thermocouple as it is. But do make sure that you revise on a thermocouple. Uh, work with the, a thermocouple. You can even use your Google to, to search for that. Then they're saying on 2.2, a non-inverting op amp is used to amplify the output signal from a detector bridge, which it turn, which in turn activates a five volt uh, indicator lamp when the temperature of 100 volt uh, of a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius reached. If the op amp metering resistance is this, and the detector voltage reads when the lamp is active when activated meaning say they gave us vd calculate the feedback result of the opm so there guys it was a direct question remember what i said when you are dealing with this part of an opm uh, the transducer which is your uh detector in this case the the part of our detector bridge it's detector voltage this one uh the detector voltage from your transducer which is 0 0.06 becomes the input to the op amp so is the one that you use as input to the op amp when you are on the op amp uh where you are now having this amplification happening this becomes your input so you take that it becomes your input so you're given the input there v in so they are saying uh, it is supposed to turn activate we meaning to say we are given uh in this case they are saying all right and the detector reads 0 0.06 when the lamp is activated. All right, so in this case, I want us to be careful there. All right, sorry for that, because here is the detector of the op, because we are reading out the, the signal there with an op amp. All right, sorry for this, guys, sorry for this. This is op amp as it is here. Take note here, the detector voltage reads when the lamp is activated, where is the lamp? They are saying here an indicator like it has to activate a five volt indicator lamp. 
So the indicator lamp is on its own. That is the one that is the five volt. Very sorry for that, guys. This one. And this becomes our output there. All right. Which is directly as it is on the op amp, which is the 0 0.06 uh, volt. All right. So it's just because of some of these disturbances, guys. But uh, let us just see. Uh, so that we can finish up. Um, that's our V out. So minus our VD there is now from the indicator, which is our input. As I said, the output becomes your input, which is going to be 5 volts. At what? At this temp. Remember, there's at this temp. The detector is working with the temperature. So it must supposed to be there. 5 volt at this. 5 volt at. That is the part of the detector. If the op the the op now this is the part of the op amp here this is this is so we have to take that as the output there the amount of the op amp metering whatever that we are talking about here is of the op amp so the detector uh, voltage reads when the lamp is activated the lamp is activated there on that detector there on that detector bridge so the output that is uh, reading now is the output of the op amp please can we get understanding of that because. Uh, it was going to give us a challenge there where the temperature is and that voltage that is of the bridge which is this one all right then you are given your metering resistor it was already given there 900 ohms uh what else do we need uh that's what we need that's what we're given and they're saying calculate the value of the feedback resistor of the op amp remember from our op amp uh multiplier circuit I explained that uh, we can have our formula V out over V in is equal to one plus RF over RM from the voltage gain. Or you can write with the V1 this side with that bracket, it's one and the same. You need RF. So you, let's make it the subject. Take one to this side. So we are going to have V out over V in minus one is equal to RF over RM. So as we can see, the RF that we need there is in the numerator and it's easier for us to make it the subject. Simply multiply by RM this side. In this bracket, simply multiply by RM. So this will cancel and we have our RF. So our RF was going to be uh, RM into this bracket of V out minus V in minus one. So guys, as long as you take your information properly, you see, you're not going to have a challenge. Uh, so let us consider that one and work. With more questions, you see, sometimes those questions, you have to be very careful also. So that is the 900 there. Uh, v out over Vn, uh, 0, 0.06 over Vn, which is 5 minus 1. We're just going to substitute as we are given our values there. So that was going to give us the value of the feedback resistor. And this was going to give us a negative 8, 8, 9,2 ohms. That was going to be a negative. It is because of this, this, this part of our voltage. But according to their presentation, that is how it was supposed to be like. So under exam condition, guys, you're not going to say, I'm supposed to correct this and have it that way. Right the way that is supposed to be as it is given there. So that was our question, guys. Uh, let us uh, consider more questions. And also, what do you think about this question or any other question that you think we can work on? Uh, as it is to consider our N6 revisions till we meet again.